I think them health food eaters do that I don't understand is they wear sandals. And I don't understand that. Women, I understand. No, no, I understand the women. But men wearing sandals, I don't get that, do you? Why? Is there a sandal wearing god darn cussed guy around here? Saying, whoa, whoa, why? Whoa, why do you wear sandals? Pointing at it. What? Do you want people to see your feet, buddy? I don't want nobody to see my feet, you know. In the morning, I don't look down and say, you know, I think I'll put some pads on them corns, some band-aids on them blisters, throw on some ugly-ass tea balls, go out around the village and show people my feet. And I hope some of them are eating. You know? No, man. I got mine hidden behind steel toe and duct tape. When you're born, they do three things to you right off. They cut your umbilical, they spank you behind, they put booties on your feet so you can't see them, and that is the way it ought to stay. But no, every summer... I go to an outdoor cafe, just about when I'm getting into my macaroni and cheese, I look at the next table, I see some size 13 gun yellow toenails curled up in the air, gunk underneath them, my hair sticking out the top of his toes, band-aid, you take your knife, scrape what's behind that band-aid, put it in a petri dish, set it in the sun for an hour, you might have your cure for cancer right there. <laughs> Sock foot. Sock fuzz all black and stinking, stuck in the corner of his big toenail. I say let the gay folks marry, but put a ban on all sandal wearing pansy asses. Right there. <laughs> Freaking God. Then them guys are like, but Jesus wore sandals. I'm like, yeah, that's because there weren't no Timberland factory outlets in Jerusalem back in the day. Because if there was, Jesus would have had himself a big old pair of steel toe logging Timberlands. He'd be kicking the crap out of Judas for telling on him. You know, he'd be like, hey, hey. no, I ain't, no, ain't going to make no Jesus jokes. I ain't going there. He was omnip He was omnipotent. I'll tell you what would have happened. Nike would have gotten after Jesus to advertise for him. No, they'd have switched up his robes. Jesus would have been doing television advertisements. He'd be like, hi, I'm Jesus. <laughs> you know, last time I went up to do the Sermon on the Mount, by the time I got to the top, my feet were so boned up and sore and aching, I could hardly preach. But now, whing, with these new air Jesuses, <laughs> I'd go up and down that mountain and preach all day long, not even think about it. If you don't believe me, Jesus Christ, ask Judas. He can't keep his mouth shut over there. You didn't know Jesus was a Vermonter, did you? <laughs> Jesus Tatro of East Braintree. That's where he lives right over there. And the guys that freak me out mostly are the, them guys that wear sandals with socks. <laughs> the hell? Apparently their feet don't stink and sweat enough bare ass, you know? So, so they got to pull. Honey, bring my socks with my sandals. I have a burning desire today to walk around town looking like Fred Flintstone smoking crack, you know? <laughs> Wearing socks with sandals makes no sense. Wearing socks with sandals makes just about as much sense as me walking around a nudist colony wearing a baggie on my HR puffin stuff. Hey! <laughs> HR puffin stuff. Who's your friend when things get rough? Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. The hell would you do that for? <laughs> something else them something else them health food eaters got. Got love is the god darn metric system. They love the metric system. They use it all the time, meters, kilos, and they wish everybody would. You know, remember back in grade school, they wanted us to change over, say Celsius instead of Fahrenheit, meter instead of yard. You remember that? I almost flunked out of school because of that. The health food kids made fun of me. Rust is not slick. He don't know metric. I broke out in acne zits because of what my childhood shrink said, but them health food kids, they love the metric system, remember? They got A's on the metric system. They thought it was going to last forever. Well, it's 2005. I think it's safe to say, health food eaters, guess what? We ain't never really changing over to the metric system. Water still freezes at 32 degrees. We still measure dirt by the yard, and it's still the Daytona 500. It is not the Daytona 812 friggin' K, is it? <laughs> no. Metric system bullshit. Something else them health food eaters love is they love money. Don't let them kid you. They love money. They, I went to an old farmer's market last weekend. By the way, I don't want to tell you. I want to tell you, I walked around that old farmer's market for 45 minutes. I did not see one old farmer. I see a bunch of hippie farmers, which is fine. I said to this hippie fella, I said, how much for that loaf of bread? He's like, $17. I said, $17? He said, it's zucchini, man. It's a big deal in Vermont. If you plant a clever thought, you grow zucchini from it. <laughs> he said, but it's organic, dude. I said, organic. For 17 bucks, that shit better be orgasmic. 
So for everybody that I take, I don't have some sort of sexual reaction. I better at least sneeze nine or ten freaking times. Yeah. Oh, I love sneezing. Oh, oh, don't you love it? Oh, I can't get enough sneezing. It comes down from here and comes out, blow boogie snot. Oh, I love it. You know, I'd rather sneeze have sex. I would. Sex, for me at my age, you're lucky to get two or three pops a week at it, but sneezing, cripes, if I stick a feather in my nose and stare at the sun, I can rip off 20, 25 of them bastards. <laughs> oh, mother. Something them health food eaters got going for them is they're women. Health food eating women are wicked, 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 hot. Oh, yeah. Somebody's freaking cell phone's ringing. <laughs> Who's is it? Whose was it? Did you answer it? You did it? We got the best looking women in the freaking world sitting in here tonight. You are pretty hot yourself. Is that your husband next to you? Hey, buddy. Take that cell phone. Put it on vibrate, stick it in her britches, and hope somebody calls the shit out of her. <laughs> She's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> She'd be like, I can't wait till intermission, man. We gotta go out in the truck and bang, man. I, I, I. <laughs> we'll go right out in that Formula Ford, right in the bed. I don't care, man. Health food women, health food women are open, honest, secure about themselves and their bodies. Listen, I went out with a health food girl for a year, nicest girl. I still remember the beautiful summer evenings. We'd spent her back porch. She'd be chopping garlic while I'd brush her hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big whole bunch. Red curly hair. She had, I remember the first date. I'll never forget it. Took her out to lunch. On the way back, she's like, Rusty, do you want to go skinny dipping? I'm like, yeah. We run down the pond, took our clothes off. Harry, she looked like Sasquatch with a perm. <laughs> she done this, she looked like she had carrot top and a headlock right there. She done that, looked like she had them in a scissor hole. She's like, oh. <laughs> Worst part was, she come out of the pond, I was standing on the shore, she shook off, she got them near drowning me right there. <laughs> She give me mouth to mouth though. Good thing she had garlic so bad. I come too right off of there. <laughs> She's like, "What is Rusty? What do you want for your birthday?" I'm like, "A weed whacker, maybe." I don't <laughs> really know. <laughs> what would you like? She's like, "I'd like a wax treatment." I said, "There ain't a freaking candle big enough, honey." <laughs> Ex Vermont Governor Howard Dean <clears throat> run for president. He signed a law in way back, prompted quite a few Vermonters, put up signs in front of their house that said, take back Vermont, take back Vermont. Well, whatever your beliefs are, they are. Now, Howard Dean run for president. Seems like he stole from that saying that was against him. He or his people stole from it. Remember, he was going around, still is. Take back your country, take back your country. By contrary, Howard Dean can run for president. Anybody can. So smack dab here today in the middle of the beautiful Chandler Music Hall, Randolph, Vermont, I am going to officially announce I'm going to be a presidential candidate for the United States of America in 2008. My slogan's not going to be take back Vermont. My slogan's not going to be take back your country. My slogan for the presidency is that goddamn phone ringing again? <laughs> Somebody, now let's take this time out right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm paying 10, 20, 30, $40,000 to have this thing taped, and you got goddamn phones on. <laughs> Shut them off. If you got kids that need to be watching, get home and watch your asses! <laughs> I understand that you can make a mistake and forget. That's okay. <laughs> Howard Dean, gold darn guy, it ain't gonna be take back from all my slogans. It's not gonna be take that back your country. My slogan for the presidency of the United States of America 2008, <gasps> unlike them two slogans, gonna unite all Vermonters. My slogan for the presidency of the United States of America 2008, Take back your empties! Take back your empties! Shut off your cell phones at the logger show!